Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about a surgery which is done sometimes for keratoconus that is the Intax plus C3R surgery. So let's look at the pentacam for this patient. So his uh, we can see that he has keratoconus over here and if we zoom at uh, the sagittal curvature map he has a pretty high refractive error and we can see that he has a moderate amount of keratoconus. Now the refraction here does not correspond the axis of the ref refraction of the cylinder does not correspond to the axis of the pentacam so our aim here is by placing intacts we just want to regularize the cornea and hopefully decrease the refractive error so now what we are doing here is as that we are just docking at the femtosecond laser this is the intact channel which we are going to create using the femtosecond laser so uh, here we can see these channels are being created at a predetermined depth and the minimal corneal thickness needs to be 400 microns now we are making a cut here and from this cut we are going to enter and put in the intact channel so this is a special instrument used for opening up these channels Channels. So we are first opening up both of these channels on either side and then the trick here is when we are placing these intact segments we need to first go vertically down and then we go parallel to the cornea and this is how we can enter the channels and place these segments very effectively. It is also important to wash them and also wash them irrigate them with antibiotics before placing them inside making sure that no epithelial cells track in these channels. So now we are placing the other segment and we need to push them a little inside so that they are away from main incision and this avoids extrusion of these channels. So we are just pushing them inside, nudging it inside so that they are not close to the incision and also they don't touch each other. And in the end, I like to place a 10O nylon interrupted suture. This is just to ensure that we do not have any extrusion of these segments and this suture is then buried and removed typically after one month of the surgery that's when I like to remove the suture and now we are going ahead with collagen cross linking also so we have combined C3R as well as intacts for this patient since he has progressive keratoconus after debriding the epithelium here we have debrided the epithelium only in the center and not over the intacts we have placed riboflavin so first the cornea is pre-soaked for about 20 minutes and the riboflavin drops are instilled every two minutes this is the accelerated protocol we are using riboflavin in HPMC and then we switch on our UV lamp and uh, while giving the UV radiation we keep instilling these drops every two minutes so towards the end of the surgery we place a bandage contact lens on the eye and uh, then the patient is uh, called for a uh, follow-up so this is at one month post-op we remove the suture at uh, one month and uh, when we look at the pentacam of this patient uh, we see that uh, you know the cornea has been regularized and we can see that the uh, keratometry readings have become much flatter than what they were and uh, this is the final refractive error so we can see the refractive error has also reduced and the best corrected visual acuity has improved to 6 by 9.